All right, so here's the training video for Intro FL. This is uh, your, you've got a production company, a video production company. What are you going to call it? Uh, I want your name associated with it somehow, though, some part of your name. Make sure it's uh, also um, school appropriate. So we're going to do this in After Effects. We're going to go to the rocket ship, and we're going to go find um, the After Effects. 2018, CC 2018, make sure it's CC 2018. That's the one you want to use. That's the one that's going to work for this. So we'll click on that. It might take a few moments for it to start. If it takes minutes, that's okay. First time you start After Effects, that's uh, not unusual. When you get this me message right here, Migrate Settings, always click Do Not Migrate. Okay, so you kind of start from scratch with the, these, this new version that we've got. So Do Not Migrate is the button you want to click. I'm glad that came up because you'll see that. Um, and again, remember, you can pause, rewind, and fast forward this training video or watch it straight through uh, to get an idea of what you need to do, see how much how much of it you could do on your own, and then go back to the video uh, and use the playhead uh, to uh, uh, get to uh, the get the answers you need. Okay, so it's because it's all there. We're still going to wait. So right here, we're going to click New Project, we're going to click New Composition, we're going to call this composition Intro FL, uh, we're going to make sure it says HDTV 1080 2997, if it doesn't, do so, I think that's the default, so I think that's what you should see, and we want to go down there and see where it says 30, we don't want 30, we want it to be 5 seconds, so I'm going to click. I'm going to highlight that three zero and turn it into a zero five. Make sure you put that leading zero. So it should be zero hours, zero minutes, five seconds, and zero frames. So five seconds exactly. Okay. And we're going to click all right. Okay. Make sure you're on this one view and also make sure you are at fit for the zoom. Those two things get off, it throws you off, and it makes it difficult to understand what to do. Uh, we've got our timeline down here. We've got five seconds broken down into 10 frames increments all the way across. And we're going to get started by going up here to Layer, New, Text. And it's ready to go. It's right there. We're just going to type in the production company name now. So I'm going to call mine Mr. Jaffe. Productions. It's okay if it's small because I'm going to go over here, click on the selection tool, and go to the right side. It's very sensitive. And I'm going to drag this thing out. Woo! Look at that left side's really sensitive. Let's so try to get try to get over here. So you can see it here. Bring her on in. Okay. Try to use the full width, uh, but not the full height. Make it look good. Okay. All right. So we've got our text. Uh, with the text selected, we can come over here to the character panel right here, and we could change the font. All right. We could change the fill color if we want to. All right. Oops, got to make sure it's selected. You could fill the, change the fill color. We could go to a stroke, put the square donut on top, click that. We could put a stroke on it, like so. Do what you want. Use the color scheme that you want. Uh, all right, and now with it selected, I'm going to go up here to Animation, Browse Presets. And now we wait for another Adobe program to open up. It's called Adobe Bridge Creative Cloud 2018. And it's going to open up like so. And we want to click, um, first of all, I want to click over here to preview. On this, see where I was? See over here? I'm over here. I want to click this preview panel. We want to go into the text folder. And I'm going to go to the animate in folder. And I'm going to click on one of these to see it preview. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so it should should show the preview here. It might take time. Okay, 
Make sure you have all other programs as far as anything else, you know, Chrome, all that stuff. Make sure that all your memory, all your computer is dedicated uh, to these two apps right now, AE and Bridge. Uh, you can kind of, if it, you know, if it just won't show a preview, then go ahead and just click, double click on it, and it'll bring you back and apply that preset because you double clicked on it. Uh, and to see it, just kind of drag the scrubber back and forth and you could see it do its thing okay make sure you put that scrubber back to the left side though if you hit the space bar to watch it that way to actually have it play like playhead then make sure you hit the space bar to stop it and drag that playhead all the way to the left it's really important because if you add if you change anything or you know decide to add something else it's going to be where that playhead is as to where it goes so you always want the, it to be at the beginning all right, so I'm gonna let's say I don't like that. Let's say I don't like that spiral. So I'm gonna do a Command Z, uh, and I could still see my text is selected. So I'm gonna go back up there again to animate, browse presets, and I'm gonna go to text, and go back to animate in, and maybe I want this uh, fly in, fly in upwards. Let's say I wonder why this isn't previewing. Oh well. Let's see what that looks like. Double click on it, hit the space bar. Eh, not so exciting. Hit the space bar again. Move that playhead all the way to the left. Do a command Z. Go back up here, animation, browse presets, back to text, animate in, and uh Maybe I'll have to drop in by character. Let's try that one. Hit the space bar to see it. Yeah, I like that one. Have this fly in like that. Okay, hit the space bar when you're done. Uh, now, just to take you back to those presets, you don't have to do animate in. You can go back to the text folder, and you can take a look at some of these other ones. There's 3D. There's 3D text. Um, there's... Uh, all these, any actually, but uh, these organic ones are kind of cool. Uh, you know, you take a look at some of these boomerang, boiling. You know, they're pretty cool, pretty cool presets in here. Lots of them. Anyways, just so you know, you don't have to be doing the same thing I'm doing. But I went with that one just to keep this training video uh, not too long. Okay, so I'm going to click out now that I'm done applying my and text preset and I'm going then I clicked out because I want to add a background and there's some built-in backgrounds in those animated presets as well but you have to make sure the text is not selected anymore so you have the layers here you have the text you can even just click below it on the layers panel just to deselect okay don't worry it's still there see but playhead is showing you where it's going on with it at zero all right so I'm gonna go up here to um, animation, browse presets. This time I'm going to go to the backgrounds. And we've got these cool backgrounds. And again, uh, they're not previewing, but that's okay. Find one that you think you like. I think I'll do this light, lightning bend. Double click on it. And uh, let me play it. All right, so that's kind of cool. But where would my text go? Well, I'll tell you, your text is hidden under a layer now. So I'm gonna hit the space bar again, make sure I move that playhead back to the left. And I'm gonna notice that the solid one, which is the background layer I just added, is on top of my text. That's why I can't see it. So I'm gonna click on the letter solid one somewhere, and I'm gonna click and hold it and drag it down. And now my, hit the space bar, and now my text is visible. Make sure that your text contrast the background don't use a blue background with blue text okay do something to make your text stand out against your background so that it's easy to read if it's hard to read you really defeat the purpose of this being an intro um, and it just doesn't make sense you're a good designer good designers will contrast their text to their backgrounds okay so you could see it all right hit the space bar again and drag the playhead all the way to the left and uh, we're basically done with this now we've added animated text and we've got an animated background 
and I'm going to do a command S to save. And we want to make sure that we call this intro FL for the name of our project. Keep it in your documents folder. Pay always pay attention to the where folder. Make sure it's documents or make sure it's in a appropriate folder. Click save. So I've saved this now. I can go back and change it if I want. Um, and now I can also export this. So I'm ready to export. I'm going to appear to file. I'm going to go to export and I'm going to have it add to the Adobe Media Encoder Cube. It's going to take some time for this to pop up. One more thing that you have to wait for. You'll be lucky if it goes this fast. But you got to be patient. Don't just start clicking on keys and clicking on your mouse, thinking that's going to speed it up. If anything, that's actually just going to lock you up. So just put your hands to your side and just wait. And just use your eyes to watch what's going on on the screen. Okay. And even I've got to wait. Training video is moving along. And I need this thing. We're almost done. I need this thing to get going here. You probably want to fast forward through this. Holy smokes, look at all this stuff. Well, that's just because. Ah, uh, holy smokes, what is that? Why is that? Oh, that's some old stuff that I had. That's not what I wanted to, you to see, though. Uh, but, no, oh, that's not it. I'm going to pause this. Okay, so um, I cleaned it up, and this is what you should see. You should see the intro FL here. And what you want to do is click this output file column, click there, click there, and make sure it's saving it as the file name you want, file, intro FL. Also make sure it's going to the folder you want. You're never going to find this folder. So you want to click the drop down arrow and pick documents and then click save. Uh, when you're ready to go ahead and export it, it's going to be an H.264. Okay. Should already be there for you. Should be at H.264. H Select it if you need to. Okay. Select it if you need to. H.264 right here. And then click the play. And take a few moments and it will export. Okay, uh, it's done. Once you see that, it says done right there on the status. Go ahead and go up to Media Encoder and quit Media Encoder. Uh, go ahead here and do a Command S. To make sure you save it. Command S. Make sure you save it. And go to After Effects and quit After Effects. And quit Bridge as well. Close it all up. Uh, in your folder now you have, in your Documents folder, you've got an intro of fell.mp4. And you want to put that on your video production page in Web Starts. And I'm going to help you with that right now. Just in case you forgot, or this might be the first video you uh, imported or uploaded. All right, so here I'm logged into my uh, Web Starts page, and I want to go uh, to Video. And I'm going to go here to Insert Video. And I'm going to click here to Upload. And I'm going to go to Documents. And I'm going to find my intro fl.mp4. Make sure it's mp4. Click open. And I'm going to wait for this to finish. It's not going to finish though. Remember, I've got a little issue. And so what we want to do is click cancel. Oh, okay. Well, I got lucky because I'm at home doing this. But uh, normally you would hit cancel and then go back to your page and you'll see it. You'll see it. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click and insert it. And uh, save it. Make sure you label it as intro fell. 
and save your page. Very good, guys.